Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. I'm not going to worry about the floor here, we, we can deal with that later, but we are going to want some of this. I'm going to put that one down, and then I'm going to take a few blocks of iron here, like this. I'll leave that one there for a minute, and we're going to want to dig down. So this layer here is going to be nine squares of glass that we're going to do above our beacons. So if we've got nine squares of glass there, we're going to need nine different colours. Uh, Sen, do, do you like doing decorations? Uh, what do you mean? Do you, do you want to be the one to select the nine different colours of the beacons in the middle here? No, not really. What? I'm giving... I'm, th 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 this, is, this is a wonderful opportunity. You, I'm you... quite happy doing this. Well, we, we like well, I, I don't mean like immediately, but uh, I'm I'm giving you a wonderful opportunity here to become a designer. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. You don't want to do it, so you're making me do it. That's not the case at all. I'm just allowing you the opportunity to pick out all the colours. Okay, but well, I pass. But I'm. So, I'm... I pass. Ugh, fine. I will pick out all the colours. You're not allowed to say they're wrong, though. Okay. Deal. Mhm. Mm you don't sound like you mean that. Is that no comment? I didn't hear. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, yeah, I forgot we've got... Um, there's, there's all kinds of nasty things in here, right? So how deep do we need to go? We're going to put the beacons right there and then the glass right there. Which means that we want four layers. It's four layers on the pyramids, isn't it, Sen? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we got uh, one layer, two, three. I need to just go down one more layer here. So that will go out that That's four far. layers of iron anyway. Yeah. Right. Ooh, it's coal over there. We're rich! Rich beyond our wildest dreams! And there is a zombily. Zombilly. Hi, zombie. Bye, zombie. Okay, we've got lots of materials here. We've got more materials here. Just going to quickly dig out some of these ores that are near where the pyramid is going to go. Just like that. Okay, so if we got nine colours, there are 16 colours all together, and we've got to pick nine of them to go as our beacons. Okay, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. How do I pick nine colours, Sen? Um, does it matter what colour they are? Yeah, because that's like those are gonna. They have to go right up to the sky. Like the the thing with the beacon um, is. Yeah, but they're all, it's nine. They're just kind of kind of blur. Hmm. I don't know. It still feels like a lot of responsibility. I'm not sure I'm cut out for responsibility on this kind of level. You'll be fine. There's that bit, and I'll also dig out this bit here. These. Yeah. It reminds me, I'm, I was just looking at the, the texture for the coal and that, thinking, oh yeah, I need to update my texture pack. Because they've actually done an update to the texture pack that I use, the compliance texture pack. Uh, so the a uh, lot of the 1.17 blocks have now got their updated textures. And some of them do actually look really good. Well, that's that's why I use the pack, because uh, I think they, they, they mostly look pretty good. So um, it does stand to reason that the, the updated version is going to be pretty good as well. If I put that back in there. Right, so beacons will be there. So that would be one layer, two layer, three layer, and I'm on the fourth layer right here. There is an enderman. There was an Enderman. There's a torch space there. Where did that Enderman go? We've, we've definitely got stuff spawning on that square. So let's get the coal out of the way and then spawn proof it. 
Okay. There he is. Hi, dudes! What? Just because it's a little bit too short for you in here, you're going to run away. There's a mad Enderman now who's... Run you upset there. him, people. I found him. I found him. He's not people, he's Enderman. Endermans aren't people. Endermans... Rude. Eh? Rude. Well, they're not nice people, put it that way. They're not people who deserve my courtesy. They're people who deserve my sword. Wouldn't you agree? Have you, seen... Have you found him? Yeah, he came back again. It was I think it was just because I was in an area that was a little bit, you know, he was going to bump his head and he didn't like it, so he decided to run away. Uh, okay, where was I? I was digging out this bit in here. It's at this level that we want to get down to, so I just want to make sure that we've dug it out enough, so it's got to be out to there. I'm just filling in some of the bottom area down here, just so that um, there's absolutely no chance of anything nasty spawning in here that we don't want to spawn in here. So just fill in those bits right there, and the edge of this one comes down to that spot there. So that one's got to go in onto the corner like that. Uh, this one moves in, and then... That one is like that. So you look round here. It's now a perfect square. We've got four layers. One, two, three, four. Beacons go there, and then we have the glass on the top. So all we've got to do is fill in this entire middle section with iron. And I'm also needing to just fill in blocks along there. Uh, there's a torch underneath that bit, so we don't need to worry too much about... There's stuff like uh, coming in so there shouldn't be anything able to spawn just in that bit so now if i swap that round and then i can start doing this so we've got quite a big layer here now i've never done a nine beacon one so we'll be able to have all of the options in the middle that will be easy enough we can do that Every single option will be in the middle pyramid. The outside ones, we won't do that. We're just going to have four beacon pyramids on the outside ones. Even though those are go they're basically going to have the same problem that we have with this one, is that they're not going to be exactly centre on the halls that we've gone and built. The only way we can do that is if we make, uh, we sort of redesign the entire structure of the halls and make it one wider. Um, Sen. Let's not do that. I was I was about to ask what 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 do you think of that idea? Uh, just making everything one block wider. Pass. I'm not sensing a lot of enthusiasm from you for some of these projects that I'm suggesting. You know, allowing you the opportunity to tidy up everything, allowing you the opportunity to you know pick out all of the, the design options. This whole project is boring. It's not that boring, is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, look, look, look on the bright side. Once we're done, you won't have to spend hours sorting chests anymore. So surely it's got, you know, long term that there is a benefit. Oh, you could, uh, I don't know. I, I suppose. You suppose? Well, it's just so much effort when you could just put it in the right chest. Yeah, but then you've got to keep finding the right chest, and I can't ever remember which one is which. It's not my fault. You need to crack on. Yeah, I'm building a pyramid. I'm, I've done two layers already, so I've just got two more layers to go on this pyramid, and then we can get the sorting system. Don't worry, once we've done the sorting system... And we've, you know, populated a little bit. That's going to be the time-consuming bit, is deciding where everything goes. Uh, we can then go and do your the bit that you wanted to do, which is um, do, do, do the Ocean Monument. So what was it in particular that you wanted to do the Ocean Monument? Did you want to build... I want sponges. Like, you just want sponges? Yeah. So you don't actually want to do anything much to the Ocean Monument itself. You just want to steal all the sponges. Basically. 
And what are the owners of the, the current owners of the sponges have to say about this? They're probably not going to be too pleased. You think? They can just move. <laughs> can they? And how mm -hmm. do you plan to move them? With the point of your sword? With violence? Yeah. There's no need for this. Why is there a zombie wandering around in our house? Where did you even come from, zombie? I don't know how we got here, but there is a zombie. Uh, there are quite a lot of... around. Yeah. I don't know if 34 pieces of glass is going to be enough. Actually, I don't know if... Because I've... Uh, decided to do nine beacons here in the middle i'm not sure actually we do have four beacons up there so uh we'll be able to go and remove some of those in a minute so if i've got four beacons up there i only actually need to make five beacons that should be enough here to make five beacons we can make six we're going to need all of those so i'll make all six i'm going to need more glass at some point soon then so i will just pop those there like that and then I also want to put those. Let's put the cod in there. And now I need to go up and start removing all of that. So we want to go up here and we want to start stripping out all of this iron here. I'm curious what happens now that I've gone and removed that one. Go down here. Speed and jump boost and regeneration have all just disappeared. We've just lost those because I've removed the bottom layer of the pyramid. I only removed one layer. We've just lost everything. Oh, actually... No, it's come back. Speed, jump boost, strength and haste now. We've lost the regeneration one because we've removed part of the bottom layer. So, you really do have to make sure you keep everything in there. I'm going to go up a little bit. Like that. I can hear an Enderman. Right, now we've lost everything. Including the jump boost. I can hear them powering down. It does actually sound pretty cool. Right. If I go over here and I'll do it like this. Strip all of this lot out like this. There we go. We have now lost power on all of our beacons. So if I remove everything from the pyramid here and then carefully take those out. And there. Slow old process removing these. There. Okay. Uh, well, there's no point in removing that yet. We've got the glass up here. That can be taken out. And then I'll just start digging off the rest of the iron blocks. Sen, are you able to just run back up here and pick up some of the iron blocks on the floor? Because um, I don't want them disappearing. I know we've got several, but we could end up using quite a lot. Because of the size of the pyramids that we're going to build. Yeah. Where do you want me to put them? Just in this shulker box? Uh, yeah, that's the one with the iron in it already, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, that would be fine. Thank you. Do you want me to stay here and pick it up? Uh, no, I should be alright now. Because the rest of it I'll be able to grab once I get back down there. Um, they shouldn't have despawned. It's just the first ones that fell down. I was a bit concerned that they might decide to despawn from me. They have a habit of doing stuff like that occasionally. And the last one. Right, so we take all of that lot down there. And then if I dig off a couple of these. I can't quite reach that. So I want to go up just a couple layers. Take out the last of them. And now uh, if I scurry around and pick all of these up, then we can put down beacons on top of there. And we've got to light them all as well. I don't think you need to have the beacons, uh, the pyramid. I, I think it's fine being completely buried like that in the rock. Although I don't know for certain. So we could end up having this completely wrong. But there are 10 beacons that we've got at the moment. 
put one in there. And just go along and I'll place them all down like this. So someone did suggest that I go and... Right, wait. Why have I got two of them lit up? Okay, I need to freak out a minute. There's only... There's two of them are lit. Because I sealed it completely. Why are the rest not lit? They should be. I filled all of the sides in. There's no gaps anywhere. Okay, now I'm curious what's gone wrong. And also there's iron down here. Let's go and have a look a minute. Because though... See, I've got two right there. But why isn't this... Oh. I mean, it's got the options here. So if I say pick... Uh, well, we had... Haste and so if I, I can't select it at all. I've, I've got no option to pick anything. This one I do. I can go and pick them. But those there, does this mean I can't do this? This this master plan of mine. Well, at the moment, I can't see any problem with my idea of a beacon like this. So... Possibly I've made a mistake with the construction, so I'm just going to dig out around it a minute and see. But looking online, it does look like you should be able to make a beacon like this. So, so long as I've gotten all of the blocks out where they should be, there is no reason that I can see that this pyramid won't work. I've seen, I've seen some pictures of beacons like this actually lit up and working. Oh! Oh! I know what it is. I've just been really, really dunce and stupid at the moment. I'm, I'm having a, a, a Let's Players moment. Some of you may be familiar with a Let's Players moment. You know those moments when the Let's Player is doing something really stupid and you're yelling it at him? Look, you moron, this is what you need to do. Uh, yeah, this is a Let's Players moment. You may also need to have a clear view of the sky. That's where we've gone wrong. So there's nothing wrong with my pyramid. It just needs a clear view of the sky. Uh, I'm going to fill in this a minute and hang my head in shame and embarrassment. And then we'll go and make the clear view of the sky. As nearly filled that back in there. I've just got a couple more bits to do right here. So I'm going to fill that all the way back in to there. I'm not going to go any further than this. It's actually good that we've dug this out a little bit because of the... Oh, okay, well, I've actually run out of stone here now. Uh, let's go and grab another stack of stone a minute. We've got a stack. There we go. We're also going to want to get some uh, obsidian and put that in so that we can create the portals that we want to make in here. So the portals are going to go around there. So there's going to be a line of obsidian blocks around there. And then we'll put glass over the top of that. So I just want this outside layer here. I mean, I'm putting plain stone at the moment, but we will dig that out and we'll put something else. So whatever floor we have in here will probably be sandstone of one kind or another. Just not quite sure what kind yet. Um, now, we need to make sure that we dig this out. So we're also going to have to put some back up there. No guarantee I'm going to be able to keep the sandstone, so I'm going to grab a little bit of that. And that's the plain sandstone that we want for that one, which is, I think, in that box. Yes, right. We cut sandstone there. So I dig off a little bit of that so that we can fill in around the edges of where these beacons are going to go. And then we will fly up like this. And we will start digging out around the edges. So if I look down here, I want to dig one block that way. Let's cut that one out with the sword right there. So it's going to be that one, and then it's going to be that one, that one, and also those there. So it's going to be a nine square right here, and that's why you don't dig straight down. Perfect demonstration for you right there. This bit just here, I don't like that we've got an open cave here. So I'm actually going to fill all of this bit in. Uh, fill this in completely. We may end up sort of doing something with this in the future. Problem is that I don't have enough stone on me at the moment to fill all of this in. But I mean, we'll dig up this coal right here. We're going to want to keep that. 
And then there will be a bit of stone that we can dig out the middle that we'll be able to use for some of this cave. So that's going to be... Dig that out right there. Uh, yeah, so that one. Okay, it goes down to this far. Doesn't go out to that one. And then it goes this way. Like that. Dig those out there. And that's the area that it's going to be in. So I'm just going to dig off a couple of these. I'm going to dig up a little bit like this. And then fill in some more of this one here. Just like this. I want to fill all of this in. I'm actually going to... We've got grass and we've got uh, just normal dirt right there. So if I... I'll use up the, the blocks of those that I've got as well. And we'll just fill in up near the top. Like that. Uh, there. That'll do. And the rest of this is going to have to be stone, so it's this bit here. I just found redstone and diamond blocks. Wait, what? Got a bit diverted. Oh, you've, like, you've gone down. I thought you meant, like, right on the side of our cave or something. Oh, no. How far away, how far away have you gone this time? Um, 19397. 19397. Uh, well, that's not very far away. What? No, y I, don't oh, think I suppose so. Y level is fourteen, isn't it? To get down to that. Um, stuff. I'm eleven. Ah, right. Yeah. We're gonna drop down a minute, and we're just gonna get ourselves another stack of stone. I want to finish filling in all of that bit while I'm still in there, and then also pick up this lot. And then we can open that lot up in just a second. Do you want me to grab this obsidian while I'm here? Uh, what obsidian? Oh, you got some, there's some down there, is there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so, actually. this It's not going to hurt to have more obsidian, because, I mean, we're making loads of beacons. We want uh, the portals and that, so, um, I mean, it's good stuff to have. It's just that it's difficult and time-consuming to mine out, that's all. I've got 16 blocks. All uh, right, not ideal. Yeah, go for it. We move on up here a bit, and I've got five dirt blocks, so we'll put some of these at the top. I can hear an Enderman chattering away in my ear, and it's kind of worrying. I, I don't like Enderman talking in my ear. I walk past one on the way down here. So much redstone down here. Is there? Hmm. Not ideal. The more of that stuff we get, the better. I mean, we do have our witch farm. I AFK'd at the witch farm for just like a couple of hours um, a few days ago. It wasn't very long, and we still did manage to get a huge chunk of uh, nice stuff from it. A load of redstone and stuff. Right, so dig those out there like that, and then I'll just, for now, I'm going to put stone in that section. What we'll probably do at some point is we will change this shaft around to be sat lined with sandstone all the way up. But just for now, we will leave it like this. And there's the beacons firing up like they should. There we go. So I didn't do anything wrong. It was just that I forgot everything I had to do. So that what that there we got nine beacons cut. That is so awesome. Nine beacons. This this is brilliant. So we need to actually fire them up. So we'll do the middle one there, right in the dead center. That's going to be our regeneration beacon. So we'll just give that one the resistance and then regen like that, and we'll pop in a piece of iron onto that one. I'm just going to have a look around here. I'm going to need some more of those. We need more coloured glass as well. So we've got magenta, yellow, green and cyan. 
we're going to have to very carefully decide what our colours are going to be in the middle here. This this is a very important decision to make. The outside, we're going to want four, and I'm thinking... Sen, I, I, I don't know about you, I, I, I've been thinking a bit. Um, it's dangerous, I know. If we have four beacons down the end of each corridor, do you think that the, um, the lights coming out of them should be the same colour on every corner? Or should we have um, 16 different colours so we cover every colour that is available in the game? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, you really don't want to make any decisions, do you? you, you... I'm just not first. But it's important. It's, it's not. It is. It's, it's life and death decisions. It's right. not like we never see those colours. Hmm. Fine. Alright, I've got haste, I've got the digging one, I've got jump boost. Like that. So we've got haste, digging, and jump boost. So if I go over to this side and I do the same again, I'll do haste here, which is going to be exactly the opposite. So we've got haste two on there. Put that one in. Uh, this one here is... Wait, what was that one? That's digging. So we'll do digging over on this corner. Uh, haste, speed. Haste is the digging one. So we've got speed and we've got haste right in there. And so this one is going to be the jump boost. We'll go in there like that. And then we've got two more corners left. So I've got resistance one just for the regeneration because the regeneration is in the center. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have strength two on one of those. Like that. And then I'm going to put the resistance two over on the other one. So at the moment we've got that lot. And this one right here is going to be resistance two like that. There, yeah, like that. There, fired up. So now we should have, there we go, we've got resistance two. So we got level two on all of them. And the reason I did like that is just so that it reaches just a tiny little bit further. I mean, the haste and the speed and the jump boost and the regeneration really isn't going to make any difference. But yeah, I just thought, why not? So anyway, we've got those right there. I'm thinking the ones down the ends, although we do have the opportunity to go with every color that is available in the game. Because there's 16 colors in the game. And so we have that opportunity. I'm thinking that we won't do that. I'm thinking we'll pick four colors. Now, the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. I'm actually thinking red, blue, yellow, and green. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. This is just, I'm, I'm not necessarily mentally equipped to make such decisions. But I do know that I need to get five more. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.